I've been working on genetics from the very moment I went into my research laboratory because I wanted to find new ways to treat and prevent cancer. When you do genetics, you're gonna know that ancestry actually matters. And so if we really include everybody in research, then we're gonna be able to find new cures. As we move towards precision oncology, the question is, can we take advantage of people's ancestry to actually then do a better job of letting everybody know what their risk for cancer is? We can now use our genes to stratify, to say who is on the extreme of high risk and who is on the low risk, because genes don't work in isolation, they work with the environment. So I hope that every 30 year old that's out there will ask their doctor, what is my risk for cancer? What's my risk in the next five years, right? What can I do about it? and that we all get into the habit of just checking things out. Whether you have cancer on your family side, on your dad's side, or your mom's side, it doesn't matter, right? Whether you don't know your family history, you can at least have that conversation with yourself and then take personal responsibility for lowering your risk for cancer. We have the tools to actually save more lives because I do believe that Prevention is better than kill. It's great to be at ASCO, and since ASCO comes to Chicago every year, I'm meeting all my friends, friends I've had for more than 30 years, and we're rejoicing that we have actually made significant progress in our fight against cancer. But we have not conquered cancer yet, and that's why the fight goes on. <laughs>